my name's Ben. I'm a fisherman from Newquay. I run the boat, the Atlantic Voyager, fishing all year round sustainably for uh, lion caught pollock and pot caught lobster and crab. My name's uh, Chris Lowe and I'm Ben's dad and I've been helping him out during the pandemic and we've been uh, selling to the local community. So over the uh, pandemic period, obviously the main shellfish fishery has collapsed due to the lack of export uh, to France and Spain. We were getting hardly any money for our pollock at all and the crab and lobster market was non-existent so we've had to find new ways to sell our fish. So the main uh, focus for our fishery is sustainability and I'm pleased to say that everything that we catch is sustainably caught, especially the lobsters and crabs. Uh, we work very closely with the lobster hatchery and in fact we're one of the very few boats in Cornwall that have got special licences to be able to bring in pregnant lobsters. The hatchery then hatch the lobsters out and then we release them back into the sea for them. It's a great thing to get involved in and it's continuing the sustainability of the lobster fishery as well. Coronavirus kept us moored up over the last month or so. I'm Barry. I fish out of Mevagizzi using nets and lines mainly. We're always looking for more ways to make fishing more sustainable. Traditionally, we catch mackerel on uh, using hooks and lines, but uh, when the water's uh, cloudy, Mainly in the winter, we use gill nets. You do normally pick out the larger mackerel, as the, the juveniles swim right through. This means the smaller fish can grow up to keep the population healthy for the future. things are back on track, I get back to fishing full time. My name's Tim Marshall. I'm an oyster and mussel farmer at Portilly Farm in Rock in Cornwall. I've been doing it for about 40 years now. Down below with those, <laughs> see the field with the tractor in it? Yeah. And the next field over the sheep in it? Yeah. To the end of that field, that's a bed like this, which we made. So depending on the orders, two of us go out on the eco harvester and dredge what we require for the next day. Farm shellfish is deemed to be sustainable and good for the environment. The shells which are grown locks up a great deal of carbon and the calcium carbonate and um, the process of growing them provides a great ecosystem. Fish, birds, otters, we see them all in and around our racks. Before the coronavirus hit us, the majority of our stuff was going to the restaurant trade, either directly or via local wholesalers. But the last seven or eight weeks, things have got very quiet. I noticed a difference in the way that fishermen were working and connecting with customers quite quickly after lockdown. They essentially could not sell to their markets because the markets closed down. It quickly developed that they were offering their produce direct to customers, either from harbours or direct deliveries to doorsteps. My name is Katie Davidson and I've been delivering fresh local seafood direct to customer homes.
A lot of people think seafood is complicated to cook or to prepare. Uh, it's simply not the case. And in fact, it can be incredibly quick, especially if you're talking about something like an oyster, which you can eat raw, that's it. It's like nature's ultimate fast food. And just with a little bit of guidance, uh, crab and lobster and fish, all of them can be prepared really simply and easily with a few nifty little tricks and tips. I think there's a lot of benefits to the customer with this new development in the seafood industry locally. It's the immediacy of the product that's coming to them. It's direct from the fishermen. There's no middlemen or women. And um, it means that people are getting an unrivaled freshness in the produce that they're buying. And that's something to be really excited about. Really and truly, we've opened up a whole new market here selling direct to the public. We've had really good feedback regarding customers who live locally who can access regular sustainably caught shellfish and fish. Through the last seven or eight weeks, the door-to-door -door or the postal sales have slowly picked up. From John Dory to mackerel, there's plenty of species for people to enjoy. <laughs>